this one. So I'm just going to put a crease in there to start with. And it really isn't just pressing the clay in. It has to do with rocking it back and forth. And what you're doing to the clay is you're suggesting a direction for it to go in. Kind of like training a dog. Kind of like training a dog. I should have to remember that. Training a husband. <laughs> you vehemently suggest. Then we go back and do the other side of that same thing. And start creating a little bit more pronounced thing. But I found when I tried to force it that the clay tended to rip. And in this way, depending on what clay, Moon White is a great clay for doing this. Uh, the large uh, Temaku pot over there is done with it. I can get them really thin, and it works really nice if you can get it thin as well. But you can see I'm supporting it as well. So I just want to round that off down the bottom there a little bit. So you initiate the line and then follow it. Yeah. And of course it's dry up here and softer down here. So um, in reality when I'm doing this is I work my way from the top to the bottom. And I might not finish the bottom for two more days. I might control it and let it do because I found that, that I really like to continue the line all the way around to the very center. If you look at the bottom one of the mugs or uh -huh. teapots, something like that, I've gotten to work where I get really, uh, well, one without a foot. Now these are thrown so they don't need to be trimmed so I can work on them right away. And I like to do, I do a lot of wet trimming where I can uh, get rid of that extra clay down at the bottom so that I can do this. Can you come back for a demo on wet trimming? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I use a, a piece of bamboo for that. My very first uh, throwing instructor showed that to me, and I, I rarely see anybody using a, a piece of bamboo for it. I, I meant to try and cut you all each a piece of bamboo, but I've got a whole bamboo grove down there if you want sure. some. But I'll show you my, the stick I use <clears> for <throat> doing it. So I'm kind of working my way into this thing. And uh, I like to work in series. I find it's a, a great way to develop a concept uh, and refine a uh, design idea. Um, and I'm amazed at how many people don't do that. And Because um, I don't know what I'm, I'm doing when I start out. I get an idea and I'll just follow it. And if I'm working on several pots, kind of at one time, I can take one idea and lead it into another one. And I really like that kind of way to um, do it. Because then that means when I finish those, say, four pots, is I probably have ideas for another six. And it just start following. It's like a daisy chain. You start, you start one thing, and it almost doesn't make a difference what that first mark is, as long as you make the first mark. So I used to be a painter, and the hardest thing for me to do was to put that first brushstroke on a canvas. Once I started the first brushstroke, then it was a matter of resolving what did that one tell me to do, and what do I, when do I finally finish this damn thing? So, um, so it's a lot of that way with the, the clay, but also learning a new technique or what the clay will do. And I've spent years painting, you know, the painted porcelain is the work I've been doing for 25 years. And uh, it's so nice to do something where I'm really messing with clay and not, you know, so much the painterly aspects of it. What's your gallery called, David? Called Hand in Hand Gallery. <laughs>